All right, guys, today we'll be talking about some basic terms, terminology and symbols regarding chart work. So let's start with the first one. The first one deals with the wind. So wind direction is normally denoted from the direction where it comes from. All right. So when we draw, for example, let's say the wind is coming from a northeasterly direction. This is how you will draw the symbol. So the straight line starting from the dot point will be pointing towards the direction of the wind, which in this case is northeasterly. The lines on the side determine the strength of the wind. All right, so whatever is the wind speed that will be determined by the lines on the side. In terms of currents, current direction is normally drawn to the direction where it goes to. So this is how it is different from wind. So wind direction is drawn where it comes from, but di uh, current direction is drawn where it goes to. So for example, if the current is northeasterly, uh, you will draw the current towards the northeast direction. So the arrows that you see on the straight line, the three arrows, the three arrows denote the it's it's a direction of the current and the three arrows are pointed towards the direction towards which the current is going. All right. Not not where it comes from, but towards which it is going. So in terms of wind, the effect of the wind on the vessel is called leeway. And leeway is the difference in angle between the course steering and the vessel's track. The vessel's actually tra actual track and the course that the vessel is supposed to be steering. We ignore the speed of wind when it comes to the chart for questions. In terms of current, we have three terms that you should be very familiar with. I have discussed these terms in my previous videos, but I thought I'll revise it again for you guys. So the first term is the set, which determines the direction of the current. So the set refers to the direction of the current. The drift is the distance traveled by current for a specific time. The rate is the speed of the current, especially for one hour. So the rate is the speed of the current for one hour and drift is the distance traveled by a current for a specific time. I'll show you the difference with an example soon. All right. So for example, drift over time will determine the rate of the current. All right. It's like distance over time determines the speed of the speed of a, a vessel or object. Uh, similarly, drift over time will determine the speed of the current, which is also called rate. Alternatively, if the drift of the current is eight nautical miles and this has happened over a period of four hours, then eight divided by four will give you the rate or the speed of the current, which is two knots. You can also look at it in this way that if the rate of the current, which is the speed of the current per hour is two knots in a matter of four hours, the drift of the current or the vessel will be drifted by a distance of two by four, eight nautical miles. All right. In terms of vessels movement, let's understand what the terms course steered, vessel speed and distance run refers to. So course steered is of course referring to the vessel's heading. And that could be in true direction in terms of magnetic heading or in terms of compass heading. So true of course refers to the gyro compass magnetic refers to a magnetic compass uh, provided there is no effect on the magnetic compass but a ship's compass is normally referred to as a compass direction because the magnetic compass will always be influenced by the ship structure or the cargo because these days ships are not made of wood if ships were made of wood and not carrying any cargo then it would be a magnetic compass in terms of vessel speed vessel speed is normally referred to as speed through water that is the speed by engines in knots and we'll also talk about speed over ground later on. Distance run is calculated by multiplying speed by time. All right, it's just like distance equals speed by time. Similarly. All right. So let's understand what is dead reckoning position or dead reckon position. Dead reckon position is determined by vessels course and distance run where wind and current are not considered. All right. We, here we assume that the vessel's course will not be influenced by the prevailing wind and currents. So for example, if you know your vessel's fixed position at say about nine o'clock and you want to calculate where your vessel will be. After a period of while, say one and a half hours, if the speed of the vessel is 12 knots and the time of the run is one and a half hours. So in one and a half hours, if the speed of the vessel is 12 knots, your ships or your distance run will be 12 by 1.5, which is 18 nautical miles. 
and especially if your course is 076 this is where you would expect your vessel to be at the end of 1030 provided there is no effect of wind and current this is hardly the case this is seldom the case at sea at sea your vessel will get influenced by the wind or the current in some way or the other all right the next term we'll be discussing is estimated position now remember in many books uh, the dead reckoning position is also called estimated position in certain terms it's not right because uh, estimated position is slightly more accurate than the estimate of the ship's position which is the uh, dr because the estimated position also takes into account the vessel's movement and the effects of the leeway and the set of the current so let's see what is estimated position so estimated position or ep is determined by vessel's course and distance run including the current so in this case of course we are considering no effects from wind in this situation here so we'll take the previous example where we knew the fixed position of the vessel at nine o'clock and we same speed 12 knots an hour time run is the same one and a half hours so distance run will be 180 nautical miles if the vessel is steering 076 degrees it should have steered about 18 nautical miles and the dr position will be shown by the plus sign or the cross sign at 10 30 but estimated position takes into account the effect of the current as well in this case so in this case we'll apply the current which is setting at about 165 degrees true rate is 1.8 knots time is 1.5 hours so the drift would be 1.8 in one and a half hours will be 2.7 nautical miles so if the if the rate of the current is 1.8 nautical miles per hour in one and a half hours the drift would be 2.7 nautical miles all right so in this in this terms the set of the current is applied at the dr position at 10 30 and you can see that those arrows of the current three arrows determine the current and they have been drawn in the direction towards which the current is going which is 165 degrees and in that terms if you apply the set and the drift of the current you see your estimated position is slightly different from the dr position so the estimated position also takes into account the effect of the current and the wind all right let's also understand the terms speed made good and course made good in terms of the vessel's movement so course made good is the actual course over ground so imagine if there was no water what would be the course over ground be and speed over ground is the same thing it's the speed of the vessel over the ground it's not through the water it would be if the speed if the vessel was running on land that's how the speed would be all right so in this case as you can see the diagram here shows you that uh, the yellow line here is the course over ground and the distance over ground the speed over ground the course steered initial course steered is the white line and if at the end of the course steered i apply the current set and drift uh, the vessel actually reaches another position and not the dr position as expected so if the vessel had run the course steered it would be at the end of the long white arrow but it's not there it's at the end of the long yellow arrow and that's because the effect of the current set and drift has been taken into account so with the prevailing current the vessel actually made good the yellow course or the yellow line all right so that's the course over ground finally let's talk about a few symbols the symbol is fix the first one is fix a fixed position is an accurately known position of the ship this is normally determined by uh, 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 two bearings or two or more bearings from land-based objects or fixed objects or it could be determined by the position lines obtained from celestial observations so this is an accurately known position of the ship it's always determined fixed these days of course gps's are very accurate uh, i will not shy away from the fact that gps is not accurate although people often um, the critics they say it's a it's a man-made equipment it's electronic equipment and but it's a satellite way of position fixing these days gps's are very accurate so the position fixing by gps can also be called a fix then we have the cross or the plus sign which denotes the dead reckoning position or the dead reckon position then we have the triangle here which is sometimes called the fish triangle which is also known as estimated position and if you take into account the estimated position with the current estimated position one if you take into account the effect of leeway then estimated position two so that's how it goes then we have a single arrow which denotes the course steered and speed through water the double arrows denote the course made good 
or the speed made good or the course and speed over ground which is the actual course and speed that the vessel does taking into account the effect of current and leeway then we have the current set and drift the three arrows denote the set of the current and they are drawn towards the direction in which the current is going to so remember the winds come from and the currents go to all right so this is important bit to remember that uh, wind direction is always determined where they are coming from and current direction is always determined where they are going to so i made a quick short video on the basic terms and terminology uh, involved in the chart work i hope this was useful to you guys let me know what you thought about this video uh, i'll put up more videos regarding chart work and i hope that uh, this is helping you learn um, with your chart work knowledge uh, i'll see you soon with my next video guys bye and all the best with your studies